When I came to Peru, I uh, really expected to stick out. I mean, from the moment I got off the plane, I just knew I'm never going to fully fit in. Uh, to start with, I'm six foot two, uh, which for Peruvians is like gigantic. Uh, most Peruvians aren't that tall. It's just rare. It's not impossible, it's rare. Um, skin color, not the same. Hair color, not the same. I don't speak the Peruvian slang. I speak Spanish, but I don't speak the slang, um, the words that people normally speak. Uh, I don't really know the history here, and I'm still kind of working my way through all the customs. Yeah, I, I stood out a lot when I first got here, and, but to be fair, you know, I never perfectly, I never expected myself to perfectly fit in. Um, there was always going to be some culture gaps that even now, eight, nine months down the road, still frustrating me, still making me scratch my head and wonder how, how did that happen? I don't really know. At my office, same thing. Uh, I had a really hard time my first couple weeks trying to figure it all out. Uh, they sat me down at a desk and they gave me like huge, hugely thick pamphlets and papers on UN Accords, international workers' rights, uh, Pueblo sovereignty, stuff that's really complicated. And reading it in Spanish, not easy. Uh, I can barely listen and speak it. Reading it, eh, not, not the best. And if that wasn't enough, you know, my coworkers, their accent is, is really thick and heavy. Uh, some speak really softly, so I don't necessarily uh, understand everything uh, that they're saying. So you can imagine the first couple weeks were really tough. Um, and all I did, all I felt was that I just was an outsider. Uh, by the way, my office, we work in several things. We help native tribes secure land rights, to protect them from things like deforestation, mining contamination, pollution. Uh, we also work with deaf-mute children, we teach sign language, and we offer workshops on abuse. So we kind of have our hands full here. Um, well, you know, after a few months of working there, I finally, finally got in the habit, got my rhythm set, got everything figured out, got my budget for the month, tweaked it just a bit, you know, which is kind of hard, honestly, because my job actually requires me to travel every now and then. So, you know, I'd have a full week of activities planned. All right, I'm doing soccer on Friday, and I, I'm going to go to the gym these two days, and then I'll be have lunch with my family then. Uh, you know, have it all figured out, and then I get a call from my boss who says, 